was taught to me. Progress, progress. I want to be a part of God's big family. Progress, progress. I want to be where I can see God's goodness flows down over me. A place where I. Hi, this is a quick video for our Puggles, our kids and your parents. So if you are one of our two or three year old little ones that are part of our um, JBMDL Puggles program, or you're part of our chapel community and you've got a two or three year old and you're looking for more ways to get God's word into your home and into the lives of your little ones. Um, I don't have all the Puggles things here with me tonight. A lot of that stuff is at the chapel. I've got to get over there and get those things, but I wanted to share um, the fourth unit of Puggles. The theme is thank you, and it's talking about all the things that your child can learn to thank God for. Um, I've got an outline of the lessons here, and I just wanted to share this with you. Um, get it in the right order here. Lesson one is I thank God for my food, and then I thank God for sunshine. I thank God for plants, flowers, and trees. I thank God for animals. I thank God for people who care for me. This is a good one for this season in our lives. It's got a lot about thanking doctors and nurses, those essential workers. Um, lesson six is I thank God for families. I thank God for his love. And this is the story of Jesus. It fits in with Easter time. And that lesson eight is I thank God for the Bible. And those are all great little truths of God's word to teach to your little puggles. Um, the first lesson is I thank God for my food and I will have on the link here under my YouTube video or also on our chapel Facebook page in the comments. You can click there to find the links for these pages. There is a parent lesson guide. It looks like this. It's a two page parent lesson guide. There is a coloring page for each of these eight lessons in the theme thanking God. So to give you a bit of an example of how it looks, the first one of the Puggles precept is that short truth from God's word that even a two or three year old can learn. This, this one is give thanks and it comes from Psalm 136 one and also Psalm 105 one. So that's the Puggles precept. On each of these lessons, there is a um, scripture for parents, a bit for parents to read, just a bit of devotional time for yourself to prepare your heart and give a bit of teaching to us as we teach our kids. The lesson, I thank God for my food. It has things that you need as suggestions. And each of these also come with a, there's a coloring page and it says you can print this out. It gives ideas. Instead of just coloring it, you can mount it on construction paper, make it a little stiffer. You can cut out pancakes and a banana out of brown, uh, out of paper or felt and have your kid glue that on and talk about their favorite foods and what they can thank God for. There's a prayer examples in here, some games you can play with your kids just to incorporate this truth into your daily lives with your kids. And I, um, I hope this will be a help to you. Um, and I'll try to record one of these short videos each week as we go over some of these different lessons in thank God. So if you have a puggle, I hope they enjoy singing those Puggle songs. We'll have one at the beginning. You can go back and listen to that a few times. That always seems to get the kids excited on Wednesday nights. They love their Puggle song. Um, there's also some extra craft ideas. So I wanted to share the, the extra craft idea for this first lesson. I thank God for food. There, um, We all get those grocery store ads in the mail. I always get one in my mail mailbox. And personally, I shop at the commissary or at Aldi, so I never need those grocery ads when I just throw them out. This says to take one of those grocery ads, you can let your kid practice with scissors. They love this at this age or cut for them if you're not ready to give them their own pair of scissors yet. 
cut out some of those foods, have them go flip through the grocery magazine, pick their favorite foods, glue it onto a piece of paper. You can just get a paper and put it on. You can draw a plate on it. You can draw a fridge, whatever you want, and have them cut out those and glue. Cutting and gluing is always so much fun for the toddlers. And then right on that, give thanks. And you can hang that by their bed. So at night, when you put a tuck in minute night, stop and pray and say, give thanks. And what can you give thanks for? I can thank God for my food. Well, um, please check out the links. Print out these activity pages and parent guides for yourself and use this to teach your kid a little bit more about how they can thank God. And to close, I'm going to put up the Puggles Thank You song. If you like these Puggles songs and your kid enjoys them, they're on YouTube. You can search them and find them, the Awana Puggles praise songs. This one is Thank You. It's, it's um, a slow, peaceful song. I think it'll be great to use at bedtime just as to slow, slow down at the end of the day and mention all the things that we can thank God for. So I'm going to go ahead and play that thank you song and um, please check out the links and download these um, lessons and use them with your kid this week. Thank you. You are so good to me Thank you, Father Thank you, Father You give me everything I need Thank you oh so much You made the world my voice so I could sing. Thank you oh so much. All good gifts come right from you. You give your love so good and So I could see. Give me eyes so I could see. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. You gave me my family. Thank you. 